show you some of the stuff that I picked up from Fan Expo Chicago. So this is going to be a haul style video and rambly and just chill so we can hang out. And I'm currently drinking my evening peppermint tea, which if you don't know about peppermint tea, probably the best thing ever for you, so I've been enjoying having it every night. So, let's sit back and relax and I will jump in to the video. Okay, so first things first, let me kind of tell you what Fan Expo is if you're not familiar with it. So basically, it's a huge convention or Comic Con, if you will, and uh, Fan Expo runs through a lot of major US cities as well as I believe they're doing Toronto, Canada this weekend. So that's really cool. And obviously, I went to do uh, Fan Expo Chicago, and it's seriously so fun if you're in to that kind of stuff, which I'm all for it, and um, so, like I said, it's like a Comic-Con, so there's tons of comic book vendors, collectible vendors, toy vendors, gaming vendors, card vendors, you name it, pretty much everything that relates to something nerdy or like a fandom, if you will, and they also have an artist alley where a lot of really cool local and national artists come through and share their work, which I think is one of the coolest parts because I love and appreciate art so much that seeing other people's art is just really cool to me, so I love that. And they also do a lot of like celebrity appearances if you're into that sort of thing. So for example, at Van Expo Chicago, they had a Back to the Future reunion and Michael J. Fox was there, Christopher Lloyd, all the main characters from Back to the Future. So there was opportunities to meet them, take photos with them, and get signatures and stuff. Of course, you gotta pay a pretty hefty price, so if you're into that sort of thing, uh, these are really fun. Um, to be honest, I don't really care that much about celebrities. I don't really put them on a pedestal. That's just not something I do, but a lot of people do. And there were also a ton of anime voice actors as well, so lots of different um, fandoms and categories of things um, to do there, so it's it's really cool. There, there was even a Smash Brothers tournament going on, which was very interesting. People were really getting into that. It was, it was pretty funny. And then there was like a 21 and up um, beer garden and a like pinball arcade, vintage pinball, which I'm so sad that my friend and I did not get a chance to check that out because we were so overwhelmed. We only went um, on Saturday, but um, moving forward, we think we're gonna spend like a few more days there than just the one. <laughs> Anyways, I figured I would go ahead and tap on my badge from the event because it's that nice really cool lanyards, 
personal favorite and I think they had a lot of um, Lord of the Rings stuff in particular because the guy who played Gollum, Andy Serkis, was there only on Sunday though. If he was there on Saturday, I 100% would have gotten an autograph on a Gollum Funko Pop because that would have been a celebrity I would be interested in meeting. <laughs> but yeah, if you're into Lord of the Rings, Star Wars, definitely go to a con. You'll not be disappointed. So that is my art piece. Okay, so I have one more larger piece to show you, and then the rest are easier to show on camera, so I figured I'd get the larger ones out of the way first. So this one isn't, um, original art or anything like that. This is just a, again, Lord of the Rings movie poster. And they were selling these for like 10 bucks and I was going between the two towers and this one because to be honest, two towers is my favorite of the trilogy. I don't know why it just is. <laughs> movie poster a little bit better, so I got this one. It's in like a protective sleeve, which is really nice, but I will definitely be framing this one. I'm such a nerd with Lord of the Rings. I'm sure you can tell by now.
because you never know what can come from them value-wise. And the art in this is so cool. I just love to do a random page. That is one reason why I think comic books are amazing because the art is so good and that's the one thing I love about them and would consider collecting them is for the artwork and like the classic aspect of it. I'm super into art. I have loved art ever since I was young. In high school I took, oh there's a hair on my nail. Cute. If you saw that, no you didn't. Okay anyways, I took every single art class I could take in high school and my senior year primarily art and then like the core classes that I had to take and a lot of people don't know this about me but I do draw and I haven't done it in so long so this comic con kind of inspired me to download procreate and start drawing again and that's what I did I've been sharing my art on my Instagram very lightly but I'm starting to
and I opened it and I was like, whoa, Charizard. And my dad's like, well, stop it, that's the best card. He knows everything about these, so. <laughs> and then looked it up and it was going for around 350 to 400 for a high grade. And my dad says there's no reason why this wouldn't be a mint high grade card. It's double sleeved, so I'm being very careful even though it is double sleeved. But nothing can really happen to it. This is a very hard plastic and then there's another sleeve around it. But this is the Charizard X and it is the 223 out of 197. It is a secret full art rare. Show you again. Oh, is it so beautiful? And like I said, best ball in the whole Obsidian Flames booster. So when I tell you I felt lucky, I felt lucky and usually I feel like I'm not that lucky. <laughs> My dad always gets the really good cards and I mean we share them but I pulled this one. <laughs> so that was really cool to pull this. Just randomly buying three packs to at Pan Expo so that was really fun and I like that there's a cool story attached to this as well. So I'm actually going to send this off and get it graded because it is damn near perfect. The borders are even, everything's straight on. Even the back is like perfectly centered. There's no like imperfections in it. I expect this to be graded very high and there's no um, bent corners or um, like damage or anything because as soon as I pulled it out, I was very careful with it. My dad immediately sleeved it. He's like, we're sleeving that right away. But yeah. Oh, it's so pretty. I love these hollow foils and the, the full art at that. So cool. This was the only like really good card I got out of it, so I'll take it. <laughs> spend too much time tapping on it just because I'm paranoid even though I know it's completely safe and it sleeves <laughs> and this video is probably getting kind of long anyways so I think we'll go ahead and wrap it up here I hope that you guys all enjoyed and as always thank you so so much for watching and hopefully i will see you all in my